It says here, and how do you drive away these thoughts? Only through confidence, meaning that he is confident that he will reach the goal. And the question is, what happiness are we talking about? It's certainly not corporeal happiness. What do you mean, not corporeal? Every moment I'm being pricked by disturbances, foreign thoughts, different things, and I'm in constant happiness that I'm getting them. I'm in constant self-study by the Creator, by the light, that awakens different things at me, it pricks me. Tuck, tuck, tuck in thought, in desire, in attitude, shows me where I'm not okay. So actually, by succeeding in decoding where do the disturbances come from and what is my problem, I know what the correction is, and I'm joyful. Yes, so there's another question, okay. Then eventually a person will reach the desired goal, and he sets an example here of someone who goes overseas, makes money, comes back, and that he has a deficiency and a want, a desire, and he has what to come with, and he reaches it. Yeah, but suppose if he's on a ship, then according to the stars, he knows where to go to. If he's on the road, then there are road signs that tell you where to go. In spirituality, I have no road signs. The moment you'll prepare the right deficiency, suddenly you feel that you're in that very place. Turns out that you don't have to go anywhere. The right want shows you that, oh, you're at home. <laughs>